Well, hello everyone. My name is Rick Pasek, the Fly Fish Fanatic, and welcome to my tying bench. Uh, today, a simple, simple, simple fly. Super, super effective fly. Very old school um, European Great Britain fly. And that's uh, my take on the partridge and orange. So, super, super simple fly. Let's uh, get her going. Deadly little wet fly though. Um, so, Today I'm going to be using the uh, Hens BL514. There's several different uh, um, uh, um, hooks you can use for this. I know a lot of people like using a, a straight shank hook. I really like these bent shank ones for this, whether it is a scud style or 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 more of a um, ones that you use, say for a uh, uh, like a um, a blob. Um, but uh, I really like these ones for it. I don't, I don't know. It just uh, seems I like the how it looks. I like the their end result, and I and I like the fishability, the way it fishes. So. Um, so, two ingredients in this guy. Some Semperfly, I'll get that turned so you guys can actually read it. Uh, Semperfly Classic Wax in the floral red, or the, it's orange. And some partridge or pheasant, something along those lines. Right, so that's what I'm, that's it. So, like I said, super simple. Just gonna leave a tiny bit of space at the beginning there. Just gonna do a uh, really nice little coating of the orange to about there. Cut that off. Flatten my thread. Come on back up to. I then I just I like it just adjusting my my hook a little bit okay I'll find a feather and it depends on the on the on the look you want sometimes I look for the really bright feathers uh, sometimes I'll look for a darker one depending on what you like um, for the result here and then I'm um, obviously there's different lengths as well but you don't want this one too, too crazy long. So, alrighty. It's a little tiny feather. Just gonna just clean off all the, the fluff there. Check my length. Yeah, so it's gonna go a little bit past, uh, to the, about the end of the hook is where, is where I want, no further. So I'm gonna tie that in with the shiny side facing out um, or it's it's got a natural concave and that's going to be facing in so you can see how it's kind of sitting right okay so okay cut off that stem get my heckle pliers Just grab it by the center. There we go. Just make sure all that material stroke back. Now, you can, if you want this really sparse, and I will tie some that are really sparse, strip off one side of the feather. And that way you, you only get like half the amount. So it's, uh, it all depends on the, on the look you're going for, but uh, I do like having both in my box. And that would be about as that would be about it, right there. But I'll go one more because I want this one to be just a bit. Uh, where did I go? I just broke off my. There we go. So get that tied down, and then I will stroke that all back just to make. And I just like making myself a little orange head here. Now you can do this with black. Um, do the orange body and then do a black head. Um, I like the effect of having this orange head. It just adds a little bit more of a oomph. Like I said, this is not your traditional um, partridge and orange, um, but it's the one that I've used that works, I find works really, really well. Like I said, it's a, it's almost silly how simple of a fly this is. Come on, focus in. It doesn't want to 
doesn't want to really focus on these little buggers, but yeah, it's it's almost it's almost silly how how simple of a fly this is, but how absolutely crazy effective they are. So this, uh, um, like I said, you you can you can do all kinds of stuff with these. So actually, we've got time. This is a fairly short video. I'm gonna actually tie a second one. I'll do a little bit quicker, but uh, I'll try a second one just to show you guys what it looks like without that orange head. So. I'm going with the orange. And I said I'll do this a little quicker. A little quicker than I normally would for a video. I'll just fly through it just to get up to the front there. So now you can make this around the corner if you want. You can make it a lot shorter. I usually don't go much longer than that, the body wise. Um, but sometimes I'll even make it half that size of the body. Just having that little bit of an orange, almost like a hot spot of the body, right? And you can even add a little bit of a silver rib or something if you like. So, just give that a quick whip finish there. Get my black nano silk. Put it on. Just so you guys can see a bit of the difference. It's spilt a little bit of uh, UV resin on those scissors. I'm going to have to clean them up. They're a little bit of a mess. They're not cutting very well. So now, same thing. I'll find a feather that I like. Let's see right there. It's actually right next to the one that I just used. So. Strip off the fluff on the underbody, underside, and the backside there. Cut off your stem. Get a hold of it. I think I lost my little rubber pad on the second pad on my hackle pliers. It keeps wanting to slip. I'll have to uh, get another pad. So once around, again, depending on how sparse you want it, just make sure this stuff's laying back. Yep. Come on in, tie that off, stroke it all back. Just a slight little head. Whip finish. Cut that off. Find my little, there's a little piece of the leftover. I can actually just, if I can grab it, yeah, I should be able to just, there we go, rip it off. And there you go. So there's a the little bit of a difference. Just it's got that. Uh, it's got the black head instead of the uh, instead of the orange head. So it just depends. Like I said, I, I I like having a variety. So I take I have both in my box. But uh, right, black head, orange head. So it all depends what you like. So okay. Like I said, super super simple, super effective, and quite the old fly one of the one of the older ones out there so um, and it's been around for a long time and it's been used for a long time with great success so you know that's that's why it's been around for so long um, it's it, it really is a a very good pattern Let's focus a bit better I'm not sure why this isn't focusing great but probably because I'm moving around but there you go all righty well I hope you guys enjoyed that sometimes the simple simple flies are the best ones out there so uh, play with these little wet ha wet flies, these little uh, um, wet hackles. They, they, they're uh, awesome little flies. They really, really are. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. Thailand's everyone.